All right, so we have seen a couple of things in the previous chapters. We have started with an inquiry that Walmart has made and HP has created it in the system. So this is our customer, Walmart. This is the company, HP, on this side of the fence. Walmart has inquired for some goods and an inquiry has been created in the system by HP. and sent out to Walmart. Walmart liked our inquiry and Walmart says, okay, give me a formal quote. This is a quote or an RFQ and a quotation was created in the system with reference to the inquiry. And of course, an output has been sent out to Walmart saying, here is your quotation. Now, up until this point, things are casual, meaning the customer is not really promising to buy. The customer is just fooling around, basically. It's like you want to buy a car, you go, say you want to buy this car, right? You want to buy a car, you go to one dealer, you go to another dealer, you go to five different dealers you might just inquire for however long you want or you might get quotations from one two three four different car sales guys or dealers and you ultimately will end up buying from one right typically the quote that you like you just uh, confirm the quote and that's when you go in and placing an order for the car but up until that point it's just called pre-sales. The term is called pre-sales because up until this point, there is no sale. But after this, if the customer chooses to buy, then the customer will place what is called as a purchase order. Purchase order. So this is step number one, inquiry. Step number two, quotation. Step number three, purchase order. So from this point on, it becomes sales. So it's a promise to buy. What's a sales order? It's almost or exactly similar in terms of the data that it contains between an inquiry and a quotation. You see, the customer does not change nor does the quantities or the products. Desktops, laptops. So you can as well create it with reference and copy all the products and customers over to your subsequent document, in this case a sales order, and save it and it will generate a number for you, say 13409. And that is what you're going to send as a purchase order confirmation to the customer Walmart. So here is your purchase order confirmation, which is a fancy word for, you know, an order number generated in the system that confirms that we have received the order. It's just like if you go place an order at Amazon, you'll get an order confirmation, right? So here are the products you brought, here are the prices, here are the total taxes. And of course you get additional details like, you know, when it's going to ship by or, you know, what carrier, what tracking number, whatnot. That's your order number. In this perspective, the keywords are purchase order and sales order. This is one, and this two. When the customer is buying things, he's actually purchasing things, Walmart, the customer, calls it a purchase order. HP, on the other hand, is selling things, so it calls it a sales order. But both are one and the same in this case. And another point, just like the way a quotation number or an inquiry number is generated, a PO number is generated or an SO number is generated, 
and sent out to the customer and that is called an order confirmation or a purchase order confirmation or sometimes it's called sales order confirmation so let's quickly recap what we have learned here we have learned that anything before an order is not really a promise to buy by the customer so inquiry quotation or any of those kinds of documents are called pre-sales and if the customer likes our quote he can place an order and that is called as a purchase order from a customer's perspective because he's purchasing and it's called as a sales order from the company's perspective who is selling goods because he's selling or doing a sale and quite similar to the way that we have created quotations with reference to the inquiry you can as well create an order with reference to the quotation and that's pretty simple too you just have to refer your quotation and do the create with reference button like we have seen previously and all the data is going to be copied over and you got your order number the third point is your purchase order confirmation that's what a sales order is so in the next chapter we're going to create a sales order in the system with reference to a quotation that we have previously created and generate a sales order number